Okay, here's number three. And I had this done from last year or last summer or something like that. And so uh, so you get to look at it, and now I just get to kind of make comments on it. This is one of the problems that I actually got to grade um, last summer. And so maybe that's why I had it done for some reason. Um, but um, this had a, a pretty low average as well um, for some crazy things. All right, so we got um, number of ATMs working when the mall opens. Probability was given in the table um, right here. Um, what's the probability that at least one ATM is working when the mall is open? That is this guy right here. Okay, a lot of students on the test did this. X greater than or equal to one equals boom, and you you missed points because of that because it's not x is greater than 1 is something it's the probability of x is greater than 1 you have to make sure you communicate good mathematics and good com I mean communicate what it is you're trying what you what you mean to say I mean by saying x is greater than 1 you know you mean the probability of x is greater than 1 but when you write it down that's not what that means that just means x is greater than 1 Okay, it means the number of ATMs is greater than one. It doesn't mean the probability. So make sure you write that down. Okay, otherwise you get a P instead of an E. And for every time you, once you get a P, that means you no longer can get a four unless everything else is perfect. Um, you get two P's and then it drops you down to a three easy, maybe even a two and a half, and then it can go down to a two. So be careful on that. Okay, so X is greater than or equal to one. Um, that basically means that's that guy plus that guy plus that guy or you just do the complement 1 minus 0.15 is 85 you go ahead and write this or you can just add them all at 0 0.21 plus 0 0.40 plus 0 0.24 0 0.85 okay um, either either way you're good to go okay B what's the expected number of ATMs that are working when the mall opens the expected number 0 times 0 0.15 plus 1 times 0 0.21 plus 2 plus 3 times that it's just a number times a probability normal expected value things to get 1.73 machines and you're good on that okay C what's probably that all three ATMs are working when the mall opens given that at least one ATM is working okay so that's this this guy right here and to do a A given B just means you have to remember this the probability of A given B and that's a formula that's given on your formula sheet it's a probability of A and B Oops. And, and this is something you probably already know divided by the probability of what's given B okay so this is the probability of that all three are working and at least one is working Okay, well, what's probably that all three are working and at least one is working? Um, well, that's just the probability that all three are working. And what's the probability that all three are working? 0.24. Okay. Um, over the probability of at least one working. Well, go figure. That's what you did in the very first problem, 0.85, or you just recalculate it. And you get 0.28 for your answer on that one. Straightforward as long as you remember this relationship and can use it in the context of this problem okay and then D um, these this is an average of 1.7 and if you watch the last video I just checked it the last one was 1.2 so it was really bad for number two the average um, okay given at least one ATM is working and when the mall opens would you expect the number of ATMs are working to be less than or equal to or greater than the expected value in part B so basically what they're saying is this given at least one ATM is working so that means this probability doesn't exist so that 15 percent or this is zero I should say that 15 percent is going to be dumped into each one of these right spread out somehow in there um, so what's going to happen to the expected value? Well, these numbers, 21, 40, and 24, are each going to go up. So when I calculate the expected value now, is it going to be larger than this? 
Yeah, because these numbers will each be bigger, won't it? So when you multiply 1 times it, 2 times it, 3 times bigger numbers, it'll be a bigger expected value. So I'd expect it to be greater than what I found in part B. That's a B. Um, the probability distribution is different with the probabilities for 1, 2, and 3 um, working ATMs. Oops. Um, increasing. Um, thus, the expected value will increase as well. Okay, does that make sense? Because when we go to find the new expected value, it's just going to be 1 times something plus 2 times something plus 3 times something. And those numbers, again, you don't have to write this part, will be greater than, I'm way up here on the side, the 21, the 40, and the 24. Any way you put the 15%, this 15 in there, you're going to be adding it into one of those, and that's going to make it larger. Okay. All right, you're set.